Hey there, I'm going to start doing these different two-minute tips and tricks for you guys. I thought it'd be really helpful um, just so you guys can learn some of these different processes. Uh, today I had a uh, question on adaptive components. And so today we're going to go ahead and uh, look at that real quick, just how to make a, an adaptive component in Revit. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up your, your Revit software and go to New Family. And it's going to go ahead and bring up the different templates. You'll use um, Generic Model adaptive go ahead and start that family we'll go ahead and open up that template and really what I what you'll start using a lot in this environment is the work plane so we're gonna set the work plane to this face right here if you say show you can see it just so you know that little tip um, and so go ahead and start uh, drawing a reference line for this example what we want to do is create um, a line and then a profile to sweep across that line so we'll do reference line, and I'm going to say uh, 3D snapping. And so I can pick, pick, pick. And then so these lines you don't see in there. They're just a reference um, for the geometry to be hosted to. And then again, we're going to set work plane, and this time we're going to host it to this point up here. And again, if we say show, you can see that. And we'll go ahead and turn off 3D snapping. And you can go ahead and start drawing your profile, whatever size and shape you want. Um, you can make these parametric as well. I'm not going to show that right now, but just to kind of show you how to make this an adaptive component. You can click your profile, hold control, pick your reference line, say create form. And then what you want to do is make these points adaptive. So you pick these points and say make adaptive. And then now these points are adaptive and the geometry will go along for the ride. Okay. So that's how you make an adaptive component in Revit. Thank you. Hope that was helpful.